Hi guys, Stephanie Mullen, aka Final Cut Steph, back with you to show you how to use Rampant's brand new Glitch Intro 01 FCPX template. You heard that correctly, this is 100% FCPX goodness. Everything was built inside Final Cut, so you don't need to worry about Motion 5, plugins, or anything else to create this glitchy look. So let's see how easy it is to build this awesome intro. Now before we jump into Final Cut, let's take a look at what you get when you download the Rampant FCPX template. First off, when you download, you're going to get a zip file. All you need to do is double click that zip file. It's going to unzip. And then it's going to give you a folder just like this. If we open that up inside, you're going to find two files. You're going to find one that's going to be a PDF. It's all about the template installation, which is basically a review of what we're talking about here. And then you're going to find your FCPX theme file. So if I open the, here's the template installation. There's some helpful things on what kind of fonts we like, uh, how to submit a ticket if you have any questions, or you can always call us. We love to hear you on the phone. So take a look at that whenever you have time. And the other thing I want you to do see here is this is going to be your theme file. Now before we do anything else, what we want to do is we want to right click on that theme file and we want to say duplicate. We don't ever want to touch this uh, original file because you can't ever go back to it and use it again. So as we all know in Final Cut it automatically saves. So if you open that up and change it, you won't be able to go back to your original. So make a copy, it's the easiest, and you're done. Now all we do now is double click this. It's going to open up uh, the project and here you'll see the theme. And if I let this run through, you will see this is what you get. So you have all of these placeholders for video, you've got some cool things going on, and we're going to go through all of these. So before I start doing anything, what I like to do is get everything organized. And if you look up here in your event browser right here, you're going to see video 1, video 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, your title and your logo. We're going to put everything in here to keep it neat and keep it kind of clean. So we're going to start with video 1. I'm going to click on that. And I want to open up a folder of some stock footage that I have. And I'm going to shrink that up so we can see it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to move my stock footage into each of these events so I know exactly where they go. So let's put this was be my first. And let's go to number two. Let's drag over two. Go to three. Go to four. Five. And six. All right, so that takes care of that. The only other thing we have to do is put our logo in. So I'm going to go find my logo. And it's right there. So I'm going to throw that in there. Perfect. OK, now we have all of our stock footage or footage that you're using into our project. And that's perfect. So now we can make this a little bit larger. Now we get to start building this template out. What we're going to do is we're going to start with video one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click here. It's going to open up the nested comp that we have for Final Cut. And then I want to take my footage and I want to drag it and pull it down here. And I want to make sure that when I do this, it goes above my video one layer, but underneath my two adjustment layers. That's going to be very, very important. And that's it. So let's go to video two, open that up, drag this down, make sure those other layers pop up, put it there. That's it. Video three, same thing. Drag that down, put that there. Video four. Same thing. See now how I, when I put all that footage in to the uh, events, it keeps it really nice and organized. So I love that. Video five. We're just going to keep putting these down. And then video six. OK. All right, so with me so far, it's perfect. Go back to our final project right here. here double click on this. And now you'll see that all of our footage has been added. All right, and if we run that through, pretty good. All right, so that's the first step. We have all of our footage in. So easy, so simple. Now we have to go do our logo at the same time. So let's go to our logo, place our logo, and I'm just going to extend that out. And what I want to see here is I'm going to see, there's that adjustment layer, if I can pop that up. Now I'm working with a white PNG logo. So right here has been a, is, there's been a generator created. So if you press, press the V and turn that on, that's going to give you a color. You can also change this background color in the inspector. So I can change this to whatever I want. Maybe I want it to be pink. All right, but I like the black, so I'm going to keep it on black. But you can change it whatever. If you don't, if you don't need a background, remember you can just press V to turn that off. So turn it on, turn it off, whatever you like. I need it on because I'm using a white logo. That's it. Now let's go to our title. We're going to double click on our title, click on our title down here, and then go over to our inspector. And in our title, we're going to put in our tagline, which is going to be "Run Rampant," 
And again, you can pick your favorite font. Our favorite font here in the office is Zona Pro. We absolutely love it. Um, you can look at the PDF. We'll tell you all about Zona Pro. And that, that's that. So back to our final project. Double click on that. Rewind this. Let's watch it go through. So simple. I love it. Now you can start tweaking it. So you can look at your footage and make sure that all of your whatever you're seeing you like. If you don't like something like maybe on this clip, I want a little bit more of him actually pouring it up. That's really simple. Now you can either double click down here or you can go back to your video four layer and double click your nested comp, which is right here. And you can actually play with this. So let's say I want to have it, I want to have that fire coming up there. So I'm going to actually start it right there. All I need to do is shrink my clip down and then make sure I move this back over, pop up those other adjustment layers and there we go. I really like the way that looks. So go back to the final project. Now I have that one adjusted. Let's make sure these are all good. And on this one, I want them to be throwing up the confetti. So we're going to adjust that one next. So double click on that. And we're going to do right where they throw it right here. And then we're going to back this up and pop everything else up. If I can get that, there we go. And go back to our final project. And then we can see now that they're throwing it up and the confetti's falling. It looks great. All right, so that's uh, first step. And you can stop there if you want, which is, it looks amazing. I love the way this looks, all the glitchy. It makes a perfect promo for dance club, for sports footage, all that stuff. But there's some extra goodness here. Let's take a look at what it is. Right here above every clip, above every video placement, you're, you're going to see Add Rampant Glitch Effect. If you click on that and go over to your inspector, you're going to see here you have three different choices of, of real glitch. This is not generated. This is from Rampant's Distortion Toolkit product. We've added it in here for you to have a little extra. And you can add on this one. Then there's this one. And then there's this one. You can add on all three if you want, if you want to get really crazy. So you can go in here and you can play and just sort of add what you want. So let's say we go there. Maybe on this one we like this glitch. And then maybe on this one we want a little bit crazier. And then let's see, maybe on this one, let's go back to the other glitch at the bottom. And you can play with these. Remember, you can add as many as you want. You can take off some. Let's add that. And then let's add, oops, the glitch here. And then let's go to the end. And then finally on this one. Again, you don't have to put anything on here. It's up to you. Just a little added bonus there. So now if we roll this back, let's take a look at what we got. And that's it. Super simple glitch intro, very easy, all done in Final Cut. No motion, no linking anything with motion templates, none of that. It's just simple. Put your footage in, change the text for the text at the end, and add some glitch, and you're done. Move on, make money, and that's what we're here for. So if you like this or you'd like to check out any other of our Rampant plugins, check out rampantfcpx.com or go to rampantdesigntools.com. Again, this is Stephanie Mullen, Final Cut Steph with Rampant Design Tools. Thanks for watching. Bye.